No one here knows Zahra's exact age, just that she's still too young to go to school. But everyone remembers the exact date when she became an orphan. The planes came. We were asleep. We didn't know anything. They bombed. I heard boom, boom. Then I realized my whole family was dead. August the 22nd, 2008. The American pilots were after a Taliban commander. They'd been fed false intelligence. He wasn't even in the village of Azizabad. The United Nations estimate 90 civilians were killed in the attack. 60 of them were children. Zahra remembered how she'd been playing with her brothers on the day of the raid. Now their bodies lie in the village cemetery, along with her father, her mother and her sister. Now her granny is all she has left in the world. She is living by begging for money from the people here. Sometimes we get enough to feed ourselves, sometimes we don't. The majority of the civilian deaths in this growing war are still being caused by the Taliban. Suicide bombers and improvised explosive devices can be blind and bloody weapons. The ripples of suffering are now spreading far beyond the Taliban strongholds in the south. Many of them may not make the headlines, but the insurgency is growing. Afghanistan is experiencing its highest level of violence since the Taliban were toppled and it's set to get worse. The Pentagon's new man in charge of operations here, General Stanley McChrystal, says the future measure of success will be the number of Afghans shielded from violence, not the number of militants killed. That future holds little comfort for Zahra, though. I miss my father so much, she told us. What can any of us say? David Chater, Al Jazeera, Kabul.